Right after Jesus was baptized, he went into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days, not eating anything, and was terribly hungry. Then the enemy of God, called the devil, came to him. His goal was to tempt Jesus to do something wrong and leave the way of God. Aren't you the Son of God? He asked Jesus. Look at all these stones lying around. Just make them into bread so you can eat them. You can do that, can't you? Jesus replied by quoting from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible. Man does not live from bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took Jesus to the roof of the temple in Jerusalem. Jump down, he said. It's written in the Holy Scriptures that nothing will happen to you because the angels will catch you before you hurt yourself. That's true, Jesus replied, but it is also written that you should not try to test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to the top of a tall mountain where they could see all the kingdoms of the whole world. Join me, he offered Jesus, and I will make you the ruler over all of these places. Go away, devil, Jesus replied. I will follow only God, as the Holy Scriptures say. Seeing that he had no chance to win Jesus over, the devil left him. Then Jesus left the desert and went into the towns and villages to tell the people there about God. One day, Jesus was in his hometown of Nazareth. He went into the synagogue, the Jewish place of worship. It was the tradition to read from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible. Jesus opened the book of the prophet Isaiah and read from it. The Spirit of God is upon me. He has chosen me to bring good news to the poor, to set the prisoners free, and to tell everyone that God has not forgotten us. Then he closed the book. Everyone waited to hear what he had to say about what he had read. These things written by the prophet are happening here and now, he said. The people were waiting for a person they called the Messiah, a person who would free the Jewish people from the oppression of the Romans by God's power. Jesus was clearly saying that he was this person they had been waiting for. But his listeners started to get suspicious. Isn't that Joseph's son? They said. We've known him since he was a little kid. How could the Messiah be an ordinary person like him? Jesus continued, When a prophet, a messenger of God, speaks to the people in his hometown, it's no surprise when they don't listen to him. Wasn't that also the case for Elijah, one of the most famous prophets of all? When there was a famine in Israel, no one helped him. He had to live with a widow in another country to survive. This was too much for his listeners. They were furious. They grabbed Jesus and took him out of the synagogue to a cliff where they wanted to throw him down. But Jesus just walked through the angry mob and left, and no one dared to touch him. Jesus was in the synagogue. This is a building similar to our churches today. It was the Sabbath, a weekly Jewish day of rest. No one works on this day. Instead, people gather to learn about God. Jesus was reading from the Jewish Bible and he was explaining what he was reading. Everyone who was listening was amazed at how well he explained the texts. All of a sudden, a man stood out from the crowds and shouted at him, What do you want from us, Jesus? You have come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Son of God. This was not something that the man made up by himself. It was an evil spirit, a demon, possessing him and making him say those words. Jesus told the demon to shut up and leave the man. The demon ah! left the man with a loud shout, and he was free. Everyone who saw this wondered where Jesus had received the power to set people free from evil spirits, and they praised God for what they had seen. One day, Jesus visited Peter. Peter was one of his friends that are called the disciples. Peter's mother-in-law was at home and had a high fever. Jesus touched her hand and the fever immediately left her. She got up, cooked some food, and served Jesus and his disciples. 
At sunset, people brought their sick to Jesus, and he healed them all. Demons also came out, recognizing him as the Son of God, but Jesus silenced them. The next morning, Jesus went to a quiet place, but people found him and tried to make him stay. He explained that he needed to spread the message of the kingdom of God to other towns as well. He continued preaching in the synagogues of Judea.